Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next episode of the Ride the Riches series. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. We're over here on Lighthouse to try to do a couple things. One, well, we can try to get some more money because we need to get even more rubles for our future. But we're also here to get the last four kills that we need for our own land. And we're also trying to get the last four kills that we need for, I believe it's Test Drive Part 1. Yeah. So that's what we're working on for today. I don't know whether or not we're going to be able to be able to go to the rose area. I'm trying to keep it away from that area, but let's see. Most people are going to probably be in that way. I kind of want to stick around like the paracord area. So that way we can pretty much go in, do what we need to do, get out, and come back in and run over to finish up these kills. So let's make it happen. Are you ready? I think there's a good chance we can get this done. And just trying to figure out where the heck I want to sit. Because this gun's great. It does a good job. But it doesn't have the best recoil control. So if I can set up and get like into a spot that I know players are going to come through. I think that's going to help us a lot better. Hmm. Where do we go from here? Why don't we go to the right? Keep following along and then we'll... Check out the, the rock in a second, like the, the the hillside over here. Maybe we'll find someone over that direction. It has to be 60 meters in between uh, us and the other players, so can't get too close. And I pretty much just got to be ready to shoot whoever <laughs> pretty much comes in front of us at a far distance. So far, nothing. Left. I also contemplating on going over to interchange and doing this. So there's some sight lines that are like 60 meters. We may end up still doing that, but we'll, we'll try out this map first and see how it goes. The shots in front of us here. Don't want to do too many crazy things just because there's a chance people are going to be at these uh, shallots. So I do want to be a little bit cautious. Let's hang out here for a second. Let's get into the shadows. Give it a quick look in this area, see if I see anybody running around. At least it's a bright, bright sunny day out. We don't have to worry about having like shadows. We had a good time too. No one on the sniper rock that I can see. Don't see anyone behind it. Nothing yet. You know, I may have to just retract my old statement and say that we probably are going to have to go over to the uh, the rogues area to be able to catch people. I feel like that's where you know most people are probably going to be heading to nowadays. I mean, if your odds and ends of people still doing the like, quest like I am, like where you're doing, you know, ones for. Like shoot more heaven or like test drive and stuff like that. So you don't have as many people, but there's still select few. We kind of hope that you find those people, but if not, we just gotta keep moving around until we find something. Let's do a little bit more while we're here. From there. I gotta lie, I kind of enjoyed this quest more when they made when it was a thermal. I don't know if you guys remember that that or not, but they used to, they used to be where you had to kill these people with the same gun, but it had to be a thermal on it. Made it a little easier to find and locate people, but hey, you know it is what it is. We'll work with it. Just trying to listen out. The shot I heard was pretty far away. It was not close, so a good chance that they're either heading the rogue area or they're heading this direction. We'll see. Nothing. Let's check over here. Just want to make sure I leave a, like some loot before we head over to the rogue area. So far, nothing though. There's nothing in, like in these areas. 
Maybe in the garage we'll get lucky. Got nothing. Well, hello VPX. Suppose we can take you. I am moving a little slower than usual. I won't lie. I'm a, I'm pretty under pretty pretty far underneath the weather right now with my uh. Uh, we call it my cold and pull force. So. Probably will be the craziest action you've ever seen, but we will definitely, you know, still try to get our our quest done as much as we possibly can. I love I love the winter time. I do. I love the fall time. I'm more fall than winter time. It's not exactly winter time just yet, but I love the time of the season. But it's a uh, it's a little bit under the, it makes me under the weather sometimes. Although I would say it's probably more along the lines of, you know, returning my day, my day job for so, after so long of not being there because of my, um, my injury that I get around people and I've been around people for a while. That probably is an indication that my immune system's like, Hey, you like to have a wild ride, right? So yeah, there's that. Where in the world are all these people at? Hmm. It is like early morning for me. Like every other day, I, I should really point out because that's when I play the game is early morning. But man, you, usually there's like one or two people that you do run into. So. I, like I was saying before, I'm going to do these runs on Lighthouse. But I'm probably not going to spend the whole episode doing it. We may even do Nighttime Factory and attempt to get the rest of the Insomnia kills. We only need five kills and maybe something worth doing. Although we could also do... Uh, we could also do Interchange as well. Because Interchange, we need to get the... Um, well, we need to kill the, the player kills over there too. It's not a Kappa related like quest, but it does get you really nice armor that you can use. Hello. 209, okay. Have I never seen two? No, actually two. I thought 209 was a, the room that was unlocked. Hmm, I don't know. Either way, another resort key. I'll take it. What over here? Anything good? Oh. I did not bring the save keys. Um, I wasn't sure if I was actually going to come to the shallows or not, but I should also remember. <laughs> it all depends on where I spawn. There's an easy chance I can be over here a lot. Maybe I'll bring a save key. If it's going to be this quiet. It may be in our, you know, benefit to actually come over here and do some looting. Wait, PP. Oh, I didn't. That's got to be new. I don't remember ever seeing BP like that before. Okay. It's kind of cool, actually. The reason why I don't want, I don't like going to the rogue area, at least like in the daytime, is they're 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 pretty much aim box at that point. Oh, oh shots over here. Yeah, the, everything's pretty much aim bot when you get to the rogue area this in like the bright sunny day. So makes me kind of question about whether I should go that way or not. But sounds like there's some maybe someone over here over at the village. Let me go give it a quick look. I think if I go this way, I can get on top of the rocks. I do need to make sure I leave some distance between them and I. I don't know if it's a scab or if it was a player that shot.
Dude was making some noise. Hopefully he'll go out like that direction though. I feel like that was 60 meters. Oh, was it not? I bet she was like 40 something. Well, that sucks. Well, if it was a use sec, at least it would be worth something. He's the only dude that I've heard this whole time. All the dead scabs down there. Nope. Don't break a leg. Don't break a leg. Whatever you do. I mean, it's a USAC kill. I can't really be mad about that. That's... Nice helmet. He would kill somebody else. I was like, why is this not looting properly? Um, we do that. How much space do we need for that? We could do this, go like this, go like this. Go like, okay, I can still fit the gun. I don't know if that was a scammer. Тут, короче, друган мой бывал точно. Can't tell if it's a regular scab or if it's a. It's a regular scab. Okay. I really couldn't tell for a minute. I was like, "What the heck's going on here?" Good ammo. No, I don't check the mag. I want you to unload the ammo. All right, what we'll do is we'll we'll come back in. We'll come back in and we'll try it one more time, and then we'll figure something out. No, I don't want to install it. What the? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Oh, 
in front down here. Okay, this is fine, I guess. Like this, like this, like this. Yeah, enough. Not the ideal thing that I wanted to happen for this um, this raid. I was kind of hoping to get more kills, but it's all good. Feel like if I try to do the whole chasing thing, it's gonna end up bad for me. No, oh, let's see anything else. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about chasing people down right now. We'll we'll come back in. Yeah, I think we're okay. We got food and everything we can get from the stash. All right, let's go. The man did all the looting for us, so I guess that's a positive thing. Lay down and crawl for the rest of my life. All right, well, I'm going to head to the exits, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one in just a second. Well, we got the guy at 58.1 meters. Two meters off, unfortunately. But I feel like, I feel like if I would have killed him... Or if I would have let him go a little farther, he probably would have got around the rock and I would have gotten the, the kill. So I'm glad I took the shot. I think, I think overall that was the smart plan versus letting him get away. Or, you know, coming around the rock, I should say. Because that was probably what was going to happen. So overall, I think it was a good idea. Let's see here. Well, we only need three more use set kills. And then we need to get... Is it the four more kills with this gun? We're gonna get there. Just trying to figure out how I want to do this. Um, be down here for a second. Oh, I see somebody. That's a scab. Oh. Surprised the scab actually came in that fast. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll chill for a second, see if I see anyone on the other side. I, I know I know I'm, I'm a little silhouetted right now, but my hope is that anything we'll see them before they see us. They still haven't fixed the floating body. Still find that funny. Oh, shoot. There's somebody right there. He's inside the house right now. Or the garage, I should say. Uh, I'm not really going to be able to see him. That's the problem. I think that's the door right there, though. He'll probably come out of. So I'm going to watch that door in case he comes out of that one. I think that's the door. I can't really tell from this distance. But if he does come out of there, we'll try to track him and see if he comes out in the open anywhere. Come on. Barely saw him, but he is. He's in there. Door still closed. Let's get her stamina back quickly. Still no eyes on. There's not much loot in there, so he's got to come out soon.
somebody down there. There's a couple of them, actually. The count. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I bet you that was again probably really close. Where's this guy at now? Still got nothing on this dude. What the heck? I know this was a player too, so that's why I'm like trying to trying to really search this area for him. He's you know you can tell with some of the player or some of the movements. Hmm. There he is. Yep, I found him. It's running back and forth. Oh, it's a scab. What the? Okay, that's a scab. Huh, all right. Thought that was gonna be a player. Maybe I did see a scav originally. I thought, yeah, I thought it was a player. But I am definitely wrong on that. There's no other movements. Well, that may have been our only chances right there. Guess we go loot those guys up and then keep moving, I suppose. Somebody's got a bolt action down here. But he should be dead. When it looked like the, what happened, the guy killed him and then was running to him. Try to go find him. He's the one I killed. Bunch of flashbangs. some euros yep here's the guy he killed look at that gun we'll just take the parts off of it like that unfortunately I'm not getting the kills that I want Seems like every time that I'm taking out these players, I'm like relatively close to the, to the range, but 
Not enough. I always want to go back up there, see if I can locate whoever's, whoever's getting shot at. But again, we're going to be chasing people. This is not going to be not worth it. So I'm going to go over to the camp over here, do some looting, and then we're going to get out. It must have been the not the not the guy with like the red jacket or the scab with the red jacket I killed, but the other one, the one with the shotgun. That must have been the one that was going through that house there. Because when I saw it originally, it was like all black clothing. I'm like, all right, pretty sure I located a player. Let's check this out. We'll leave a little bit of slot here, and then we'll loot up a little bit more. But going back to my original statement, I don't want to go near the rogue area because I'm going to get blasted to death by one of those machine gunners. Rather not have to deal with that. I'd rather get the guys that, you know, going to versus, um, they're going to the rogue area versus like, trying to kill the ones in there. It becomes a mess trying to do it the other way around. Oh, it was a bear I killed. Oh, shoot. Didn't even count towards the uh, the quest. That sucks. Oh well. Check this out. I forgot to check that. I'm like, wait a minute, did I get you get another kill? But I didn't. T forty five one. Pretty sure it's here in the scab. Say no to that. We got battery. Take a tube, I suppose. Anything else in here? No, nothing. If I remember right, there's like a spawn over here that, like, or a chance for a spawn on this side. I don't see anything yet. Um, what about stairs? I got nothing. Check this. This is like the third time now that I've, I've not just today, but like there's been a couple you know, raids that I've done on like house where nothing is actually spawned on the outside like you used to. Like on the box, like the, the, the broken box and then the the box like that ranks to the staircase. There's like nothing. Very strange. These manuals, man. Hmm. Nothing. Okay. All right, let's keep moving. Either he, the, the guy died, or he killed he killed the other uh, rogue. There's a good chance that he died. One of the reasons why I don't go there during the daytime. I mean, granted, we may even have a better chance of finding players at nighttime. We really might. 
Just because of the fact that you've got so many people that go out to the rogues at night. We may be able to find them, but we'll see. I'm going to get out of here, though, for now. Come right back in. I'm not worried about the rest of the loot. I want to get these dang kills. So we'll get out of here and we'll reset it one more time. All right, let's give it another try. Let's go over here to the left. Oh, I know where we're at. Okay. Well, what is it? Two kills we've gotten so far? I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> nothing to brag about. Let's just say that. But it's better than nothing. I think I would want to do this. Let's go over here to the shoreline area and then we'll head over to the, uh, to the shallot and see if we can get any shots and people coming our way. That will be the plan for right now. I don't worry about the spawn over here. But maybe we'll get lucky if someone has to spawn up there. Oh god, oh god, don't break a leg. Yeah. Oh. Hurt myself though. That up a little bit. So I looked at the uh, the, the, um, the distance. That wasn't. I guess it was, was kind of close. It was 50.2 meters as well. I guess I just need to let the let the people push a little bit farther, or get lucky enough to find someone that's like, I guess, farther along in a way. Because that was really unfortunate. Again, I'm like, I, I feel like I'm hitting. Around 60 meters and then realizing, nope, I get to get, I just need to let them go even farther away. I'm just not getting close, or not getting lucky enough with like the distance, so. I feel like I'm close enough, maybe I should just allow them to get farther ahead before I take the shot. That guy probably would have continued, like moving across after he went and looted the body, so. That's my fault. Should have just stuck with my gut and just waited until he got the looting done. That's not what I meant to do. Jump over this. Now, originally this episode was going to be me going into reserve with an MP7 and see if we get the rest of those kills that we need for pest control. But I, th I feel like we needed to get a little bit of a break. Going for that quest, it's just, I think it's going to take us a long time. Just considering the fact that we have to stick around those buildings for so long. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to break it up a little bit. Most likely what's gonna happen is I'm gonna like go there, get the you know, try to get a couple kills here and there, and then we'll come back to like you know, lighthouse or something to work on some other kills. Just to, you know, change up the, the gameplay a little bit. It is getting darker. I do need to hurry up a little bit. Could be a scab. Yeah, it could be a scab. We'll just keep moving. Anyone on top of the rock at all? Doesn't look like it. has been no sound at all a bit concerning So you have no clue how that didn't kill him. Unless I got a ricochet. But 
Which if I got a ricochet, that's kind of more, more of annoying than any more annoyance than anything. I'm gonna try to hurry up and get across the way. I have another sailor walk, so be breaking my legs and, and damaging them all this whole time. It's fine. Maybe we sit over here and see if we, we can catch people coming this way from the grenade throws. Could, be, could work. So the sound stops immediately after I get in the area. So, um, let's just keep moving. That grenade bounced so many times. I think I died to the grenade bounce, not a kill, but not by the shot. What? <laughs> no, he shot me. I was going to say, there's no way the heck I died from the grenade. M62, yeah. I tried to run away and get around the corner fast enough, but didn't work. All right, then. Well, we'll be get better luck for the, the, this time. <laughs> All right, let's go this way. Uh, everything good? I think so. This is what we're bringing in, by the way. This tech tech, a couple of little small things here and there. Let's do this. We need to head backwards. It is a rainy day, though. And, of course, when you look at the weather charts, it shows raining, so... We get to have the fun time of trying to get 60 meter heads or sorry, 60 meter kills in the rain. Should be fine. I think we'll be fine. I always say I wish I could spawn on the other side because it'd be a little bit easier to get the kills, but maybe we'll get some, you know, somebody to be on the other side. Or be on the rock again and we can actually get the kill. We'll see. You having such perfect aim on me. What the heck? Oh yeah, yeah, you the scabs. Alright, let's keep moving. We got people. We got people. Thing we were do before, just focus on the kills first, and then we'll worry about getting loot afterwards. I can move this up a little bit though. Uh, let's go stomach, and we'll get the arm fixed in a second. Get the 
go. All right. Fix the arm up. We'll get some ammo loaded up too. Guy played it smart though when he threw the grenade off the side and then tried to shoot me afterwards. I mean, he definitely worked out pretty good. I don't think I could have, like, I, I, I thought at first maybe if he threw the nade, I could, you know, survive it. and Or, like, it wouldn't hit us. It would roll down the hill, basically. But the way he threw the grenade, I think if I would have stayed still trying to get the kill on the guy when he peeked over, quite certain I would have blown up. So, not much it could really do in this situation. It was unfortunate. But we move on. Got what it sounded like a bunch of shots over at the shallots. So we're gonna I think we're gonna do what we did before and try to get over to the mountain and catch those guys off. Check the roof uh, the dark roof. Check, check this first. And then we can cross. Quickly now. I think there were shots over it, like right across the way from us. Oh, Jesus. Do you know what I mean about the daytime? I, I, it's horrible. <laughs> That's why I don't like going for the rogues. I was probably in line of sight for 0. 0.2 seconds. <laughs> and then it almost got blown up so if that tells you anything that's why i don't like to uh try to go for rogues in the morning i'm trying to think where those shots were at though it was like over in this direction but we're gonna uh, we're gonna get on the rock at the top I'll quickly do this though as soon as possible Scab shooting at me? Oh, nice. What is up with the scabs right now? The guys are like the cracks. Absolutely cracked right now. I don't know what's going on with that. It's like it instantly has like a line of sight just blast me from like that far away. Scabs, I tell you what, some days I wonder. Like I said, it sounded like there were some shots coming from the seaside places. Jeez, I only got one more use of my heavy bleeds. Up in my meds. Oh boy. I don't see him down there though. No eyes on. It's not as dark, so this is good. I just thought it'd be darker than this. Check along here. I see nothing. All right, we need to get repositioned from across the way. Come on. There we go. All right, where are you guys at? These rooms are extremely lit right now, so it's a little easier to see into. I'm 
don't see any movements. We definitely heard shots. That's why I'm checking on this. Doors open there. Set this to 100 as well. Don't see anyone walking around. It's oddly quiet again. Never like that. Where, oh, where are these PMCs at? Still got nothing. Up on top of the rocks. Anyone walking around? Eh, not that I can see. Huh. Very peculiar. I don't see anyone walking on the ground, like towards the rogues either. Like, I was, I was maybe thinking someone was going to be on the bridge heading that way. Oh, you just can't see the, uh, the rogue. I was just I was trying to see if the rogue here was up, but I can't see him. I don't see any dead rogues though. That rogue's still up there. So where the heck all the players go? Mm -hmm. I don't know about this one, guys. Well, we have to we have to try. We have to try and see if we can catch somebody. Just sucks. Uh, yeah, I think this map probably won't be the best when it comes to uh, trying to get these test drive kills. I don't, I don't really know. Honestly, I'm trying to figure out what map would be best. I mean, 60 meters. I mean, yeah, like going over to Woods is probably going to be our best bet. I think, yeah, I think Woods is going to be our best bet for this quest. But I had to give it a try, you know, especially with both these quests being something that we need to work on. Just weird that like it went completely silent. Maybe it's normal. I don't know. I guess I don't play Lighthouse enough to really understand the movement of it yeah so the rogues are still up and running so if they're up and running then what the heck are the players doing then I'm definitely over here I still can't believe the dude that was sitting up here when we were hanging out down at the corner here I cannot believe that that whatever helmet he was wearing, it ricocheted a M62. That kind of blew my mind. Was not expecting that. Well, it's way too quiet. I can say that at least. No one's walking down below. All right, let's go loop. Dang. Situation again, we're just not fighting people. I'm feeling like maybe, like, if we were a little bit faster, maybe we could have caught someone out, but I don't know. Oh, you know another place they could be? They could also be at the lighthouse. Yeah, they could be at the lighthouse as well. The 
problem is, if they're at the lighthouse, you know, th if they can shoot at me from out, from on the lighthouse, and I can't shoot at them if they're in the lighthouse. I have to basically wait till they get off the the little island there and get past the bridge. And there's like a little gate. Once they get past that area, then I can shoot at them. But I always forget that's an option. Not saying that's where the people are, but it could be. Okay, what's going on here? Come on. Jump on up. I will give it a look though. Let's loot up this place quickly. See what kind of items we can find. Someone's been here because that armor's definitely somebody's. Yeah, someone's definitely been through here. check a few different places I'm not terribly worried about looting everything I'm trying to get some stuff nothing there they did loot the parrot what the heck check through here I think someone looted this just from like the outlines of the stuff, but I can't tell. Strange. Yeah, looks like all that loot's been taken. Okay, yeah, someone's gone through this because. The trunk's not normally open. Did they check in here though? No, they did. Okay. What a weird looting path. They searched all all the other stuff, but they didn't search in here. Okay. I'll just search and take whatever I can get my hands on and get this point. I should take everything, I suppose. Anything on the table? see anything what about over here I'm actually just listening out to see if anyone is still on the map because I you know obviously you know that people are gonna be going over the roads area but we haven't heard anyone like shooting at all Heard any more shooting around the shallot area or even like by the village that we that we came through. Didn't get anything that way either. Wolfie, some chocolate. Get stuck. Okay. Let's jump out of here. And let's go take a look over by the uh, the lighthouse you never know maybe we get lucky and see someone actually exiting and we can take them out that'd be best case scenario from that and then if not we'll go loot up down here at the by the edge because we should have this as an exit right yeah southern road we'll take the southern road out and we'll call it good from that I know this wasn't that much of an exciting episode but Thought maybe we'd have a good chance of finding people on the lighthouse. Nothing in the chair. 
Mayo. But we are getting, you know, to the point where we're slowly but surely getting to the end of like, the quest that we need to work on for Kappa container. And we have to do these quests. Sadly, we have to do these certain ones, but we'll get them done. We'll get them done. It may take us a little bit longer than usual, but as long as I can still be profiting while I'm doing this at the same time, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. Jump up here. Think about where would be the best place to sit to look across. A gun. I guess I could take the gun. Why not? Take it. I forget how far you have to actually go on the rocks to get over to the spot. Could be someone up here. I'm be cautious about that. So just gonna overlook and just basically scope in and see if they see anything and then if not we'll, look, we'll get out but if there is somebody they could be in a building could be anywhere you want to lay down or you want to stand up this whole time there we go I was trying to figure out why the heck my character wasn't laying down. At some point, we're going to get over here. I also need to come over because I need like 20 PMC kills on Layhouse 2 to be able to get over or to get another part to get over to this place. So, that's another reason why I came to Layhouse 2. Oh, there's the boss right there with a sniper rifle. I don't know if you consider him a boss. I feel like you can consider that guy a boss. Well, there goes an explosion. But that could be anything. That could be a, a rogue throwing that grenade. It could be a, a scat player now. It could be a regular player. I don't know. All right. Let's get out of. Ow. Let's not break our legs, please. We'll loot the rest of the stuff here, and then we'll move down the road and get out of here. Check this. Some more chocolate. Later. Guess we take the metal scissors. Nothing on the table. And nothing in the truck bed. Okay. Well, test drive is definitely going to take us longer. Like I said, I think I'm just going to have to go to woods for this quest. Go to woods and then we'll try to focus on getting, getting the kills over there at some point. Like I said, I wish, I don't know why they switched it out. Maybe because it being like a shorter wipe, maybe that's why they switched this quest out. But I much preferred it when it had the, like it was more expensive, like if you died. But I much preferred it when it was the uh, the thermal. And I'm quite certain that it wasn't a distance thing either. Like back then, it was just like get the kills with an M uh, M1A with a thermal on it, and like one other one or two parts. I don't remember, remember the I don't remember the distance thing ever. But yeah, I just don't remember the change on that one. It's unfortunate. I'm not a huge fan of the change. Check this. Look at this. 
it would be cool if like you know if they had the weapons and like they say hey you know get the kills with m1a with you know with this scope and this suppressor on there but like not not to have it gated behind a distance I, I feel like putting distances behind these quests is in a, in a way kind of changing it like in a bad way the way that Tarkov's played like you should be able to shoot people from any distance and just get the get the kill and, and call call it a day from that one. I feel like it's you're kind of in, incentivizing people to sit. Like I I would prefer instead of me sitting on that hill up there trying to get sixty meter kills, I would prefer to bring this gun in even with the scope that it has, because it's you know it's close range and it's far range. I would rather have been up in people's faces at the shallow trying to get the kills. But sadly. It doesn't let you do that. Oh, so just food for thought, I guess, is the thing I'm thinking right now. Check that here. All right, let's call it good. Take our loot. Didn't see anybody this time, but. Hopefully, when we come back again, we'll be able to find people. Either way, decent episode. We only died once, so the loot's not horrible, actually. Actually, I'm, I'm okay with the loot we got for this episode. I hope I'm being, like, as entertaining as I possibly can for you guys you know, with the circumstances, because I, I am feeling pretty down right now with, like, the sickness. It is making me not be able to, like, focus the way I would like to, so... <laughs> yeah. I, ho I hope you guys are enjoying it. I apologize if it seems kind of, like, meh kind of episodes with, with me being sick but we're making do with what we can at the moment um i think we're i'm just gonna clean this up a little later on but yeah not bad though overall i mean loot's pretty decent bitcoin's gonna bring some nice money we'll be over we're we'll definitely over seven mil which would be very very cool oh and i don't think i ever pointed this out uh it's somewhere in here is it in this one no it's not that one not that one uh, oh, you know what? No, I broke them down. The I don't know why, but we got back both of the AK 101s that we used from like episode 68. So that's pretty cool. Pretty stoked to see those were, were actually uh, coming back and we didn't lose them. But we got a whole bunch of other stuff still. We still got the MK 17 that we can still use. Yeah, a lot of things we still got to work on. What's the Sturman one? But yeah, three more kills to go on our own lands. And we got to get a few others on some other maps. So, unfortunately, couldn't get as much progress done as I wanted. But it is what it is at the end of the day. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Ride Riches series, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoyed with the episode, what you're excited about for the future. If you haven't yet, subscribe, ding the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.